Okay, so in this video, we're going to elaborate on some of the accessory structures of the digestive system. So we already talked about the liver. Uh, on this one, we're going to sort of talk about the pancreas, uh, which is connected to the duodenum. So this is the general wallboard model, but we can look at it a little bit more detailed on this model here. So to give you some orientation, you have the duodenum, or the first part of the small intestine here. You've got the pancreas with its head, body, and tail. Uh, on either side, these are not digestive structures, but to give you some orientation here, you have the kidneys. All right. Again, not a digestive structure, but again, orientation. You have the spleen here on the left side. Um, this up here is showing you part of the liver with the gallbladder that we saw before to show you how it's all connected. You can also see uh, this purple vessel right here. Um, this is the hepatic portal vein. So remember from the video, we talked about the liver. Uh, we have the hepatic portal vein, which takes all of the uh, mesenteric veins and merges them together to bring that blood supply up to the liver so the liver can filter that blood out. Now, uh, the other thing that is important to notice here is that the pancreas has this pancreatic duct. And this duct, this is the main duct, and it comes down this way. We also can see an accessory duct right here. But the pancreas uh, has an en or exocrine rather function uh, to release buffers and enzymes into the duodenum to help with digestion. And you can see here that the pancreatic duct merges with the common bile duct, uh, and and those merge at a spot called the ampulla, which is behind here, uh, and those come out into the duodenum through what's called the duodenal papilla or the hepatopancreatic papilla. The reason it is called the hepatopancreatic papilla is because we have that common bile duct. So if you remember from the video before, the common bile duct is coming um, uh, down from the liver and the gallbladder. So here's that gallbladder, here's the cystic duct, Remember we had the uh, right and left uh, hepatic ducts merging to form the common hepatic duct. And then the cystic duct and that common hepatic duct fused to form that common bile duct. So you can see that goes all the way down and that's where it merges with the pancreatic duct. Now if we take a look at the wallboard model again, we can see a little bit more detail about that ampulla. So an ampulla is a large open area. So you can see here's the, com or the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct merging. So this spot is the ampulla. And then where they enter into the duodenum, this little finger-like projection that sticks out, that's the duodenal papilla or the hepatopancreatic papilla.